Well, I don't see how anybody can read the Bible and not believe in the existence of a personal devil and of demons. Jesus clearly believed both in Satan and in demonic powers at work in the world today. The Apostle Paul said, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of dark forces. The Apostle Paul understood that there are those spiritual forces all around us who oppose us, who oppose Christian growth, who oppose Christian outreach, who oppose all that God is trying to do in the world today. And if the question is, believing that way, how do you fight against those dark forces? I think by doing exactly what Paul says in Ephesians chapter 6, take up the whole armor of God. Be girt around, he says, with the girdle of truth. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. Let your feet be shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Put on the helmet of salvation. Pick up the shield of faith. And then pick up the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Now some people say, should you talk to the devil? Should you rebuke the devil? I can only give you my personal answer. I don't talk to the devil. I talk to Jesus and let Jesus talk to the devil. I don't rebuke the devil. I talk to the Lord and let the Lord do all the rebuking that needs to be done. I believe if we will merely, I shouldn't say merely, if we will simply, if we will courageously take up the armor that God has given us of truth, of faith, of hope, of gospel proclamation, of the assurance of salvation. And if we'll pick up the Bible, the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, and in prayer and in submission to God and in the power of the Holy Spirit, go forth to stand for Him in this evil day. We will fight and we will win. Are we in a battle? Yes, we are. And we're going to be fighting the spiritual warfare as long as we're alive. But if we'll use the weapons God has given us, we will fight. And in the evil day, when the battle is over, we will still be standing, not in our own power, but in the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. So stand and fight, brothers and sisters. The Lord is on your side.